Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. We are coming to you live from the White Fire Force Studios in Nairobi. We're on channel uh, 376 on DSTV, so you can watch us across Africa. I go by the name of Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform. And it's always a pleasure. It's time for your favorite segment, Strength of a Woman, where we highlight stories of queens who are doing amazing stuff uh, for the world and to the world, and for themselves as well. Uh, give it up for Esther, who's the founder of Royal uh, Widows and Orphans Foundation. Yeah. Karibu sana, Esther. Thank you. All right, your camera is number four. <coughs> yeah. uh, so, a brief intro. Weke credentials zako zote. Alafu tusonge. Mr. Wanjiko Kabeni, mm -hmm. wife to the late Corporal Wikrish Nyamboki, mm -hmm. who was a KDF, mm -hmm. died back in 2016, January. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother, mm -hmm. I'm a business lady. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus as my personal savior, mm -hmm. and I'm the founder of Royal Widows and Orphans Foundation. Royal Widows and Orphans Foundation. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's the story that led you to starting this foundation, Royal Widows and Orphans Foundation, is very interesting. Yeah. Uh, or very sad. Uh, I don't know which word to put there. I don't know which adjective to put there. But before that, uh, I'd like to know how was it being married to to to, to a soldier, considering they went to Somalia. This is the first time Kenya ever went to war. Yeah. Uh -huh. Somehow it's very difficult mm -hmm. putting in mind that time, during that time I was single. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a baby. Mm -hmm. But aliniacha nikiwa na mimba. You, for a whole year, niliacha mm -hmm. two months ago. Mm -hmm. Then nalirudi kama mtoto wako two years. Wow. But the journey was not that smooth. How, do you get to communicate? Yeah, time to time, mm -hmm. anakupigia jioni, mm -hmm. anakuambia meenda vita, mm -hmm. na asubuhi anakupigia very early in the morning, mm -hmm. that wanaenda vita, atakupigia. So you are just there. You're just there, yeah. and you never know yeah. what kind of phone call or message you're going to get yeah. from the other people. Why are you interacting with some of the people he was working with? Yeah, I was mm -hmm. calling some of their friends and mm -hmm. uh, just asking him them, how is my husband? Mm -hmm. Labda wameenda... Wameenda field, field na marafiki zake wamebaki kwa kampu. Ama ako kwa shimo juu. Most of the time alikuwa niambia tu kwa kwa shimo, but anasikia marisazi zinalia. So for me, he was preparing me for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was powerful. Around this time, uh, ulikuna share his story na nani? Because it's very hard to be a young mother with a, with a newborn and uh, you don't know if your husband is going to come back home. Okay, my I, I had few friends mm -hmm. and my my mom and my 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 sister mm -hmm. who are very close to me mm -hmm. during that time. All right. Yeah. So, kwa uh, imagination yako ulikuna dani you can lose your husband in any other way apart from the bullet. No. You never imagined another no. way no. other than the bullet. Yeah. Like ulisema if he ever leaves me the bullet yeah. ama vita. Yeah. But this was not the case. Yeah. Right, what happened? Uh, we literally talk a Somali mm -hmm. like one week ago. He started complaining about backache and the stomach. Mm -hmm. Then he kafika jioni. So, ni karudi nyumbani, ni kampata ameka kwa kiti, and the pain was too much. Mm -hmm. So, ni kamuliza kama tunaenda, tunaweza enda hospitali, akasema pana. So, ni kapika chakura, ni kamwekea, ni katoka inje kidogo. Mm -hmm. Kurudi kwa nyumba nilipata ameanguka. Mm -hmm. And uh, kurudi na muliza what is long. Akaniambia from upper, mm -hmm. baka kuenda chini, hajiski. Mm -hmm. So, nige, nika mpulu mbaka kwa kiti, mm -hmm. nika mpanguza, uh, nika mpeleka hospitali, memorial. Mm -hmm. Kumpeleka memorial kakua admitted for the first week. He was diagnosed with kidney failure. Mm -hmm. The second week, akaenda ICU. Mm -hmm. And that time, akiwa ICU, nile tu uko na wasi wasi, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, Lily fast. Mm -hmm. Ku fast uh, akarudi kwa ward. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third week, <sighs> he was normal. Three weeks? Yeah. All it took was three weeks. Diagnosis the first week. Yeah. Second week, ICU. Akarudi ward. Akarudi ICU. Yeah. Then he died. Then he died. Yeah. Wow. He was at the Memorial Hospital. Yeah. Huh. How old was your son back then, at this time? That time he was three years old, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, were you working at this time? I was doing some small businesses. You were a small businesswoman. Mm. All right, so after his death, uh, Daktari Akaku breaking news, 
Uh, Actually, uh -huh. Wycliffe died <coughs> tukiwa na yeye ICU, uh -huh. but uh, ilijaribu kuya, ku, kuelezewa na daktari uh -huh. kama anaweza kufa na tusisemi amekufa. Uh -huh. Maisha yezi endelea. So nilisema maisha inaweza endelea. But uh, nilikarisha maiti for almost uh, sing sa, sa nane mbaka sa kumi. Uh -huh. But nilikuwa na sense kuna kitu because I cried the whole day. Uh -huh. Nikarudi nyumbani and I called my mom. Nika mm -hmm. mwambia, talk to God. Mm -hmm. Mwambia chukwe Wycliffe. Because leo hajafungua macho, mm -hmm. hajaongea, mm -hmm. na hajaniambia chochote. Mm -hmm. So, nikalala nikiwa na wasiwasi. Very mm -hmm. early in the morning, mm -hmm. dio nijitarisha ni, niende hospitali. Mm -hmm. Dio nilipigiwa simu. Nikambiwa, your husband is normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you do next after this? Ulifanya nini? Ni drama, kulia, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Nani ya likuwa na your son at this particular time? Okay, the time my husband alikuwa mgonjwa, it mm -hmm. was December 20, 2015. Mm -hmm. so Before or after Christmas? Ya, yeah, msichana wakazi alienda nyumbani, na, alienda nyumbani so ikabidi ni hamie kwa sistango. Mm -hmm. Nikafunga kwangu because sina msichana, na singe kuwa naenda na mtoto hospitali kila siku. Mm -hmm. So nilikuwa na kaa pale kwa sistango. Mm -hmm. So wakati nilipigua simu nilikuwa nimelala na mtoto wangu. Mm -hmm. And uh, ilibidi tu nikaamuka nikapiga mrango teke nikapiga nduru and wakamuka. Nikawambia Wycliffe is normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. When you say wakamuka ni ye na the husband? Yeah, yeah, the husband the na family. watoto. The family, the whole family. Wow. Yeah. This must have been a trying time for you. So. All right. So being that uh ulikuwa unafanya biashara ndogo ndogo and all these things uh, <coughs> the 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 burial the organizing of the burial ili cross my mind at this particular point No because uh, after amekufa mhm mm tulienda memorial tukaangalia mm -hmm. mwili and uh wow <coughs> kwa kwa tu amelala mm -hmm. Do you have? It can take some time. I think I'm sorry. Actually, haiku. It's like a drama to mm -hmm. me. You can take your time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because siku fikiriam to mumeka almost eight years. Anaiza mm kuwa -hmm. he's normal. And mm -hmm. for me, I was not ready for the death of my husband. Mm -hmm. He was very young. Huh? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? He was 30 years. So, to refer memorial and to Kangalia Mwili. And uh, it was unbelievable to me and also to my son. To Kangalia, to Kaomba, and then to Katoka Mochari. And uh, the whole of uh, December 2015, nearly spent in Abuanangu Hospitali, Pekeangu. Mm -hmm. He was the firstborn of eight. Mm -hmm. So those who to, uh, eight, they never bothered. Walikuja tu siku moja wakaundokea. The mother alikuja siku tatu na wakaundokea. So mimi ndio nini ngangana na yeye mpaka the last time. Mm -hmm. But wakati ya mekufa, niliona watu wa menizingila hospitali. Mm -hmm. Mama ke alikuja na geni ya watu mm -hmm. wakanizingila watu kama 40 mm -hmm. wakaniambia wanataka kifunguya nyumba mm -hmm. na nimeua mtoto wao mm -hmm. so nikaambia mother in law nimengangana na mtoto wako mm -hmm. a whole month and one week mm -hmm. ulikuwa wapi nikamwambia i'm not interested with the money or anything kama pesa na uhai dio kitu ya maana stuck anything mm -hmm. Nikamwambia maiti iko mochari ukisikia kuzika zika nikisikia nitazika nitazika Tukavurugana wakafukuzwa memorial nikabaki peke yangu wazazi wangu wakakuja wakaona waka nini mwili tukarudi nyumbani Kurudi nyumbani walikuwa na insist vitu za nyumba So I had to go and report at Buruburu Alright So uh, moving forward uh uh easy vitu zote zikafanyika mkaenda mkafanya barrio in the long run mm. akazikwa kwao mm -hmm. uh, 
right after the burial, you went into depression yeah. for a whole year. Yeah. Wow. So this year, how was this year like? This year? After to receive a week leave, mm -hmm. now the depression is mm -hmm. Because this person is normal. I could be a simu. I could you just leave, left there hopeless. Mm -hmm. I was left without school fees, without land, mm -hmm. without food. Ilifika mahali tunaenda kuomba chakula kwa wenyewe. And uh, depression ikakuwa too much. Mm -hmm. Mamangu wakakuja kuishi na mimi. Mm -hmm. The whole of February. Mm -hmm. Ikakuwa too much. Ikabidi wakanipereka hospitali, nikapewa dawa za madhare. Nili lala for a span of one month, mm -hmm. and that one month ni kakuja kukua at least nika nika jielewa because life has to move on. Nili angalia mtoto wangu ni kaona ni kikufa ni tacha mtoto wangu na shida. This was one of your motivations. Yeah, mm -hmm. because mtoto wangu alikuwa na kujia na niambia mam acha kulia mm -hmm. dadi atarudi. Yeah, and the only person I go and be at a road. So I go and I pay hope. So I look at the future. I am to talk to you. I say, man, if you come to talk to me, I am not going to So I am not going to be a man. I am going to be strong for my son. So after Kupona, do my own family will disappear completely in my life. Friends, ninety-nine percent will go end. In-laws will be too much on my pema. So niliachwa tu na mtoto wangu mm -hmm. na Mungu. Mm -hmm. But ilifika wakati nikakuwa na bitterness na Mungu. Mm -hmm. Because yeye ndiye alituumba. Mm -hmm. Ilifika wakati mpaka nikamuuliza ulikuwa wapi wakati bwanangu alikuwa nakufa? Mm -hmm. Na nilikaa a span of one year bila mm -hmm. kuomba kwangu. Kwangu ungemniambia tuombe, tunaomba mm -hmm. nini? Mm -hmm. Yaani nilikuwa na that bitterness. Mm -hmm. But later loro nilikuja ni kulialize everything has a reason. Mm -hmm. And maybe Mungu alikuwa anataka alikuwa aliona weekly fatahangaika sana mm -hmm. akaona pumzike mm -hmm. so that span of uh, 20 the whole of 2016 nilipitia mangumu mm -hmm. yenye inafanyanga nikumbuke wajane mm -hmm. so during that time watu wenye walikuwa wananisaidia ni young widows like me mm -hmm. wenye walikuwa wanakuja kwa nyumba wananiambia Esther be strong for your kid mm -hmm. wananiachia 50 bob mm -hmm. mia unaona mm -hmm. maisha inaendelea mm -hmm. and after one year Ilijiuliza nini naweza fanyia hao widows mm -hmm. because walisimama na mimi mm -hmm. nani atasimama na wao mm -hmm. because nowadays even the society does not care about widows mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. nah. so after this e journey yako ni widows walikuwa naelewa kile una go through yeah. they were the only people who could understand what you were going through yeah. and they were the only people who were trying to help you because mm -hmm. they understood what you were going through yeah uh walikuwa kama wangapi hivi na ulipatana na waje Okay, I started with two mm -hmm. because ukikufiwa, mm -hmm. you know the story inaenda go around. Mm -hmm. Bwana bwana ya nani alikufa, alikufa. Mm -hmm. So unaenda kwa huo mama, unamuelezea hata mimi nilipitia, niko nimefika hapa, mm -hmm. life has to move on. Mm -hmm. So walikuja wa alianza mmoja mm -hmm. wakakuja tena wakiwa wawili. Mm -hmm. So walikuwa wanakuja, tunaomba, mm -hmm. tunasoma Bible, wana mm -hmm. encourage, tunalia, tunacheka mm -hmm. and life moves on. At what point ilikuwa ilifika sasa wewe ndio unawasaidia na uka find hadi nguvu kidogo ya kuwasaidia? After one year mm -hmm. I started receiving half of my husband's salary. Mm -hmm. It's always like that. Widows want to receive. Yeah, KDF widows mm -hmm. wanapewa mm -hmm. half of their husband's salary. Mm -hmm. So wakati nilianza kupewa salary, nilijiuliza nani alisimama na mimi? Mm -hmm. They are the only widow, now only widows who are when your mabonazao hawa koma kazi. Naskia mtu wa meuliwa, mama mungina me kufa la juya pombe. How do you want to alishuguri kana mimi? Ni kajiri. So I want a half salary. I want anything. But in me, I'm very lucky because ni kona pension na ni kona salary. So I decided to be sharing my half of my half of my husband's salary. Every end month, na nunua unga, skali, mchere, na wakawanisha, na wapatia. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And you went through that. You're here today. You're brave. Uh, moving forward, 
sai ulianza na widows wa wili sai umefika widows kama ngapi nilianza na two widows so far i have 300 widows mm -hmm. in various group mm -hmm. and in various area mm -hmm. in nairobi moranga mm -hmm. na kuru and busia nairobi moranga na kuru and busia yeah. royal uh, widows and uh, orphans right. imefika nairobi moranga yeah. uh, busia yeah. and nakuru yeah. wow wonderful uh, swali eh, kubwa kabisa ni Half your husband's salary cannot take care of 300 widows. How are you doing this? Okay, I have uh, some uh, well wishers. Mm -hmm. Have a WhatsApp group mm -hmm. of well wishers. Mm -hmm. When you want me walk on Mimi journey, mm -hmm. most of them they are my Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. I want you to me form a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. wanachanga every month, lazima tukue na event. Mm -hmm. So wanachanga miatano, one thousand, one hundred. Mm -hmm. Tunakusanyisha, mm -hmm. tunanuhua unga. Mm -hmm. Tunaperekea wale widows mm -hmm. in groups mm -hmm. of 15 to 20 people. Mm -hmm. Tunawafanya counseling, mm -hmm. training of table banking, mm -hmm. crop farming. Mm -hmm. Kuna wengine wanafanya pig farming, mm -hmm. rabbit farming. Mm -hmm. Mine is just to empower them. Just to empower them. And to train and them. And help them uh, t uh, take part in economic activities. Yeah. Vitu yeah. zinezawa saidi economically. Yeah. Alright, so uh, I'm focused on counseling and training them on table banking. Yeah. What is table banking? Tibo banking ni kama miri go round. Uh -huh. Wanatoa pesa wao wenyewe, wanakopa, wanarudisha uh -huh. na interest, uh -huh. wanaguru eza. In eza groups group. of 15 yeah. to 20. Uh, and they have their own certificate uh -huh. as a self group. Right. Yeah. So uh, the royal uh, widows and orphans is the umbrella. Yeah. You are the center of yeah. the umbrella. Yeah. And then it is spread out from Muranga to Busia yeah. to Nakuru yeah. uh, to, to different neighborhoods in mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And then they are divided into groups of 15 to 20 yeah. with heads. Alafu wapa wanajisaidia wenyewe. Wanajisaidia wao wenyewe. Uh -huh. Because loyal inaendelea kukua. Uh -huh. Uu ni mtoto, bado ni mchanga. Uh -huh. But my vision is to empower all of them. Uh -huh. Yeah. In the long run. Yeah. So as we speak, kuna up to 300 widows wa mekua impacted the, from royal of uh, widows and orphans. Yeah. Wonderful. What is, the, what is the vision right now with this? My vision is, uh, uh, I have almost four agendas that mm -hmm. I'm pushing to the government. Mm -hmm. I want them to create vocational training in every county. Mm -hmm. And also I want them to create counseling centers in every county. Mm -hmm. To give every widow an HIF card for free. Mm -hmm. And to give widows special bursaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, they need the help. They need the help. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being a single mother is not easy. Being a widow, uh -huh. it's not a, a simple journey. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a painful journey which is full of struggle and pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. So these are some of the things you're pushing to, uh, through the legislation yeah. while you help them with the self-help groups. Yeah. Table banking is something you're really pushing for. Yeah. Right, so when I get economic activities, I want to change, I want to save pesa. Yeah. Uh, so, what can you make impress on? Which self help group I make impress on? I make fun of it too. There is uh, a group in Umoja. Uh -huh. So far, I make save almost sixty-six thousand. Uh -huh. And uh, when I cop, I want to rodisha. Uh -huh. Na wana tengeneza sabuni. Uh -huh. Also in back in my rural mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. you know charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. I'm from Moranga, uh -huh. Kandara uh, area. Kwa kina Sicilia Mwangi? Kwa kina <laughs> Wahome. Alright. Uh, Honorable uh -huh. Wahome. Uh -huh. So uko wanalima. Wanalima mboga, wanafuga sungura, wanafuga ngurue. Mm -hmm. You know, we are ready to do business mm -hmm. and uh, farming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're doing something for themselves. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So four pillars. Uh, health is very important for yeah. a widow. Yeah. Counseling is very important, which falls up yeah. category of health. Mm. Uh, economic empowerment is very important for yes. the widow. Yeah. Uh, which one was the other one? The special basari. The special basari. Yeah. Kama kuna watoto. Yeah, because kama wa, 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 watu wa remavu kuna venye wanaekangwa, wanapewa mm -hmm. special basaris. Mm -hmm. Ata even widows, mm -hmm. they are supposed to be given special basaris. Mm -hmm. Because they are suffering, unatafuta rent, unatafuta mm -hmm. school fees. Because ideally, alikuwa na for raise yeah. our watoto. Alright, wonderful. Mm. So social media what our partner nam nagani na what wakita ku join ni WhatsApp group ama e group yaku what wa kuchangia na what wana taka kusaidiwa. How to can call they get on Facebook? Just look them straight into the eyes and to call on Facebook. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Royal Widows and Orphans Foundation. Mm -hmm. We will mm -hmm. give you all our details and mm -hmm. hope you are going to support us. Alright. Yeah. You have a very jovial son and I am a furai son. He's very happy and playful. Yeah. He helped you through a lot of these yeah. things. 
All right. So uh, your last remarks to, to the people who are watching you right now, the queens who are watching you right now, from widows to wale wachanga, wenye, awajaona maisha kama we vile umeona. Yeah. Uh -huh. What can you tell them? Your camera is number four in a few words. For, for, for me, for let me encourage widow. Mm -hmm. There is nothing is permanent. Mm -hmm. I just want them to keep praying mm -hmm. and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Na wale tu, wako tu, kama my housewife, tafteni kitu ya kufanya, because anything can happen. I seek to expect weekly fata kufa, but through zero challenges in mepitia, kama mwanamuke, unafaa kuwa unafanya biashara ama chochote. Iri buwanako wakienda, asporudi, utaeza kusomesha watoto na kulisha familia yako. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. We appreciate you so much for coming and what you were doing. And uh, I'm told it's uh, Fulu Imboko's birthday, so we'd like to wish Mr. Fulu wa... Mr. Fulu wa, wa karaoke live tunamwisha happy birthday so tusaidie kumwisha happy birthday kwa social media zetu uh, white54 channel on twitter white54 underscore channel on instagram and white54 on facebook na facebook pale naona kuna comments zimeingia sahi uh, kuna mtu anaitwa mato anasema very touching may the almighty father see her through uh, para ya white anasema wa good job god will help Wa Nancy anasema always watching from Kangema. Uh, Kamau Gitari uh, wa Tumaini anasema watching from Tumaini Nyandarwa County. Uh, Apa Ven Venus Kinyozi. Thank you very much guys for watching and sending your feedback our way. And there's this particular person I to para ya white anasema a very good job. And God, may God take you through whatever you're doing. Amen. Thank you very much Esther for coming through to Why in the Morning and thank you very much for what you're doing. Uh, I'll, I'll give you one last chance to ku invite wase wa kusaidie na ku invite wale wase wanata kusaidia wapia waambie venye wanaweza wapata. Unaweza tupata Loyal Widows and Orphans Foundation Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, come and support us. Widows, most of the widows they are suffering. Mm -hmm. They need help from you people. And if we can empower a uh, widow, we can mm -hmm. empower the whole world. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. Thank you very much, Esther, for coming. We've come to the end of Strength of a Woman. We had Esther, who is the founder of Royal Widows and Orphans, and she's impacting lives in a way that has not been seen before. If you'd like to help, uh, go to their Facebook page, page Royal Widows and Orphans, and uh, contribute. You can contribute a message. You can contribute some money. You can contribute your time. You can contribute your progress. Uh, so, Kalamival is coming up next with Girls Talk. You don't want to miss our topic.